Marymount California University recently opened a Students Veterans Center. With many students who have served in the military, it gives them a place they can gather, get to know each other, and share experiences while attending college. Many local leaders, including Mayor Brian Campbell, were on hand for the ribbon cutting. Here is more from the event. Well, we've had student veterans for a while. And one of the things they've been asking for is to have a center where they could relax, where they could bond. And it's a huge transition to go from serving in the military to civilian life. We couldn't have found a better spot because they can come there in between classes, relax, talk to each other, and, and they have a beautiful view of the ocean. And when you've been serving, especially some of our students are combat veterans, so they're here not only adjusting to civilian life, but also trying, in a sense, to find a new start. But to be able to relax and look at the ocean and let your heartbeat go down and sort of put things in perspective, that's what our veterans need. And quite frankly, that's the least that we could do for them. So I'm really excited about this place. I'm really excited about this space for them. And I'm very honored and grateful that they've chosen Marymount California University to really uh, continue or begin their higher education and to, to re-enter civilian life. It's a great honor to be here today at Marymount California University and helping open their Veterans Center. And I was just talking with a couple of students who are uh, veterans. I mean, I served in the Army. They, they both served in the Navy. But it's great hearing their stories and, and their experiences and, and, and vice versa. I mean, once you've served, once you've worn your uniform and served overseas, you've got a bond there that, uh, uh, that is uh, pretty much unshakable. So it's, it's, I, I enjoy being around other veterans and uh, I enjoy talking to community groups or students as I was last week about life in the military and, and what it means to serve in some capacity uh, uh, for, uh, you know, for the betterment of your community or the country. It's definitely a challenging experience um, having to become a student from after uh, being on the other side of the podium because I also instructed for six years. Um, it, it was a challenge to try to relearn how to take notes once once again. I found it really, um, it, not, not to say that I was lost, but there was a lot of places where I would walk by and it was hard to really meet up with the rest of the veterans who are also at the school in one place and have you know somewhere to just relax and talk about you know whether the struggles that we're going through in school or even just reminisce about you know stuff that we've done in the past. But now having the center, um, I think it's going to make it really comfortable for us to have a place where we can meet together and have these conversations and maybe help each other study as well. Well, it's just great to have our own space just for all veterans. Um, you know, some veterans they get out and they don't want to have meetings and do all that so this space really is just a place for everyone to come hang out know there's you know know that there's more of us know that they have us if they need us so how long did it take for you all guys all to kind of meet each other when you got here it was pretty quick really? it was pretty okay. quick uh, a couple years ago yeah we went out the school took us out to uh, San Pedro Brewing Company okay. Uh, got us dinner, so we all got a, it was a little meet and greet, it was great. And the big thing for them too is, as they were talking to me about this, and the reason they appreciate the space, is it is hard for people to appreciate how much they now have to, to really uh, uh, think about that there was a, a structure in place to free them up so that their sole focus could be on their job and their job was to serve our interests, right? The interests of the country. So this gives them a place where they can learn from the older veterans who have been here for a couple of years who can help them negotiate that transition. And this will be a great location for that to happen.